kept us and watched over us even thus far and how he has given us a mind to come into the house of the Lord and I was telling them last week that um, generally speaking you don't have that mind of yourself it's the Lord that gives you that mind amen. amen so we ought to praise him and thank him for giving us a mind to come into the house of the Lord even on today amen, amen. he woke us up this morning he started us on our way thank you Lord so that means if he's given us a mind to come, then he's given us a mind to hear the word of the Lord. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. And we should always be open to God's word. And, you know, when I take the approach of studying now the word of God, I kind of forget everything I know so I can see a revelation of the Lord, you know, so I can attain new stuff. Yeah. You know, because our mind, the way our brain is set up, if we read things repeatedly, we, we tend to memorize it that way, and then we keep reading it that way, yes. you know, and never seeing new opportunities. Yes. And then, so God's word is filled with new opportunities. Yes, it is. Thank you, Lord. It's quick and it's powerful. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, uh, let us remember uh, all the bereaved families, men and women and children everywhere, that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved, and remember Christian ministries and a in a mighty way, thank you, Lord, in churches and the body of Christ throughout this world, amen, that the Lord will bless. And remember uh, those that are in wars and rumors of wars and those that are um, uh, having conflict uh, across this great nation and across the world, that uh, the most uh, perfect will of the Lord will be done, yeah. amen. God is in control, amen. Thank you, Lord, and his will is being perpetuated being done no matter what uh, man may do or what may happen God is always in control amen, amen. Yes. all right so is there any other prayer requests my sister Yes. Amen. God will save the church. Amen. Amen. 
My sister? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Absolutely. Amen. And uh, pray also for the young lady that got baptized um, on uh, Sunday. Nice. That the Lord will touch her mind. Uh, she's been in my spirit. So let us pray for her that the Lord will uh, bring her back and then uh, fill her with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes. Amen. All right. None other requests. Let the church to stand. All right. And let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father. In the precious and the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for yes. you have blessed us one more time to come into the house of the Lord. Yes. We pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every request that's been made known. Yes. Remember men and children and everywhere, Lord, in all walks of life. Yes. We pray, Lord, that you would send forth healing, that you would send forth deliverance in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, we know that all things move by your power and by your glory. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you touch, touch minds, touch spirits. Yes. Hallelujah. Lead and guide us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would rebuke death, rebuke the devourer. Those that are in the hospitals, Lord, we pray that you would touch their bodies and their minds and their yes. spirit in the name of Jesus. That you would heal, set free, and deliver. And, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would bless our Bible study on tonight. Yes. That you would send us a word of hope and encouragement and yes. strength. In the name of Jesus, and even correct us, yeah. hallelujah, and help us uh, as we attain unto the, the prize and to the glory that you have set us out to attain. Yeah. And we pray, Lord, that you would continue to give us the word of grace, the word of power, wisdom, and knowledge, and understanding. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, give us a word of hope, hallelujah, that passes all understanding. And Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. We certainly thank God. Amen. Um, we want to uh, finish up uh, what we were discussing on last week. We were talking about uh, walking in humility. And I want to go to the book of Philippians uh, chapter number two, uh, where we see Christ as our greatest example of walking in humility. Amen. To be humble. Uh, to be humble, uh, void means literally being void of an attitude of pride. Amen. Followed by submission and obedience to the word of God. And a humble person also has the mind of not only serving God, but they also serve others. Amen. They serve others. And um, I think sometimes we can take that as a nonchalant kind of thing uh, uh, and miss the mark on that. But, but um, when we realize that how uh, great, uh, Lord help me here, how, how great of uh, attention God gives to walking in humility, we'll see it in a different light. Amen. We'll see it in a different way. Because the only way to obtain the grace of God, and we need God's grace, yeah. his strength, his power, his anointing to accomplish his will. The only way to attain that is to humble ourselves and submit ourselves to him. Amen. We, we call him Lord. Amen. As well as we should call him Lord. And that means he rules over us. Amen. And, and oftentimes, uh, we think that we can keep our same mind, our same attitude, uh, and, and walk with God and not change. Amen. But if you're going to be successful in walking with God, you have to change. Amen. And change is a good thing. Uh, he said, be not conformed, but be what? By the renewing of your mind. Humility is a mind thing. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. A low estate 
Amen. And the world looks at that uh, uh, as walking in, in humility as something that should be avoided. Amen. But we know that the world is opposite of God. Uh, when God looks at humility, he looks at it as a prize, as, as something that, that, that is to be attained. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And he rewards. He rewards those that walk in humility. Amen. Amen. So when we're looking at uh, Philippians then, uh, chapter number two, uh, it's, a, it's the, the greatest example in the Bible that talks about unity and it talks about humility. Amen. All things uh, flow from God through humility. All things. Amen. All things flow from God through humility. Uh, if we were to get real deep, uh, even God humbles himself uh, to even deal with us. Yeah. Amen. He humbles himself uh, to behold us uh, because God is, he's excellent in all of his ways. Wow. He's highly extolled in all of his ways. But the Bible says God humbles himself Amen. To deal with us, to be even, uh, uh, to, 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 because we're not on his level, so to speak. Uh, and he humbles himself to be even able to uh, uh, interact with us. So if God has to humble himself, how much more ought we not to humble ourselves? Amen. So uh, uh, in God's plan, I'm going to, I'm trying to go somewhere here. Uh, I'm just trying to set your mindset. In God's plan, God has literally predestinated, predetermined, predestinated everything in Christ Jesus. Amen? And what do I mean by that? Is that, is that pre, God has already preset, predetermined that all blessings flow through Christ and in Christ and by Christ. Amen? Everything. Everything was made for him, by him, and without him, there was nothing that was made that, that exists. Amen? Everything that was made had Christ in mind. Uh, even you. Uh, he, he made you with Christ in mind. Uh, that's why everything fits into Christ. Uh, uh, hallelujah. And in order... To get into him, I'm getting ahead of myself, one must humble themselves. Now, when we talk about uh, uh, predestination or, or God's predetermined counsel, uh, God's, God has, has a predetermined plan. He has a set plan. Amen? That, that uh, I can put it this way, that God has a house. He made a house. Uh, and that everybody can come into that house. Anybody can come into the house. But the only way you can stay in the house is if you submit and follow the rules of the house. Uh, if you don't uh, submit and follow the rules that are uh, uh, attached to the house, uh, then you're going to be ejected. You're going to be evicted. Uh, uh, you follow me? So everybody uh, is, is predetermined uh, that everybody can come into the house. Uh, Y'all with me? Uh, but the only way to remain in the house, uh, one must humble themselves and submit to the rules of the house. Uh, and if you don't submit to the rules of the house, you get what? Put out. Put out. Put out. Uh, evicted. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's how God operates his house. That's how the body of Christ operates. Uh, the body of Christ is for everybody. Uh, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, uh, to what? Believeth in him should not what? But have what? Everlasting life. Amen. Christ is for all. But, uh, uh, but the only way to, uh, to remain in him, you must follow the rules of the house. Uh, or you're going to be ejected. Yes. <laughs> or you're going to be evicted. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. So, so, so with that, you know, uh, people who struggle 
uh, praise the Lord, people who struggle in the house of God are those that have a rebellious attitude. Uh, those that operate in pride. Uh, because God resists the pride. Uh, and he gives what? Grace. Grace to the humble. Thank you, Lord. God resists those who don't want to conform uh, to the rules of the house. Yeah. Amen. You know that I, I, I was struggling. Uh, uh, I was <laughs> Sometimes I go into my mode of, of diagnosing people because, you know, I've been in that mental health field a while. And I said, now that person has an antisocial personality disorder. Uh, and if you look that up, an antisocial personality disorder person is a person who does not want to conform to the rules. Amen. They're rule breakers. They're violators. Amen. Thank you, Lord. No matter how it, you, you give it to them, it's my way or the highway. Uh, and 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 they don't they don't see things or or acknowledge things. It's only me, myself, and I. Uh, but with God, you know, with God, you've got to think about God, and you've got to think about others. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, an antisocial personality disordered person, they don't think about other people. Right. They don't. They violate rules uh, without without even the notion. Of, of how I'm treating other people, how this is going to affect others. Yeah. Amen. How this is going to even affect my life. They're impulsive. Uh, wow. Do things out of their own desires. Yeah. Uh, without without regard to whatever the consequence is. Right. Uh, and we don't want to be like that in the body of Christ. Amen. 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 Now another point that I want to make. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost now. I feel my strength. Uh, somebody must be praying for me. I'm praying. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the, 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 the God, he wants all of us to be humble, and he also wants all of us to be guardians of unity in the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Just think about it. Just think about it. Even in your own household. Uh, you don't want troublemakers coming into your house, no, sir. Uh, causing trouble, rearranging your furniture, no, uh, going into your refrigerator, uh, eating whatever they want to eat, cooking all hours of the night, no, sir. Uh, uh, leaving the stove on, leaving the lights on, uh, turning up the gas or, or, or the, uh, uh, the cooling system to wherever they want it. Uh, leaving the bath, going there, use the bathroom, leave it nasty, yeah. dirty. Huh? You'd be like, uh-uh, you got to go. Uh, uh, some, somebody got to go. Uh, uh, and, 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 but, but you love a person that comes in that's harmonious, uh, that wants to work in harmony, uh, that wants to aid and to help. Amen? Uh, hallelujah. And, and my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. When God looks at uh, uh, and talks about unity in the church, God is not... Uh, uh, ignorant in the sense that he knows that people are going to come into the church and they're not all going to get along. Uh, God knows that, doesn't he? Uh, come on here. God knows we're not all going to get along. Uh, he knows that we're not all going to be agreeable. Amen? But his expectation is uh, is don't allow your disagreement to disturb the unity of Christ. Uh, why? Because we need the unity of Christ for salvation. Yeah. Yeah. We need the unity of Christ for deliverance. Yeah. Uh, above all else, uh, uh, walk in unity so that the flow and the plan of God can be achieved. Yeah. Uh, come on, man. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, it's not about me. It's not about you, it's about him. Uh, not my will, but thy will be done. So as a guardian of unity, uh, I, I've, got to, I've got to fight uh, to keep the unity. Uh, that means I've got to fight against my own flesh, my own will, my own desires, and I've got to, I've got to fight, uh, hallelujah, to win. If you push my buttons, 
huh? I've got to fight so I cannot allow that to, to disturb me to so I don't have quarrels and arguments. Yeah. Huh? Huh? And that I'm acting unseemly, that I'm acting ungodly so that I can disturb the flow of God. Huh? Now notice, now notice. I not only got to have that mind, but we all have to have that mind. Yes. Huh? Uh, wouldn't the world be a better place if we all had that mind? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't see wars. You wouldn't see fighting. Uh, thank you, Lord. Be like Rodney King. Can we all get along? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And that's what God expects. Yeah. Uh, he expects that. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, G. That's a great introduction. All right. All right. So God has... I want you to, when we read these scriptures, I want you to see that God has predetermined us in Christ Jesus. Amen? Huh? Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. And that means that everything flows through Christ. Amen? Everything. All your blessings, your salvation, huh? your, your deliverance, everything flows through Christ. Uh, and then God, uh, part of his predetermination, he has blessed you in Christ Jesus. Uh, meaning that, 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 that those that are outside of Christ are not truly blessed by God's definition of, of blessing. Amen? Why? Because they're outside of his predetermined plan. Uh, but everybody that comes into the house, Huh? Hallelujah. Everyone that comes into Christ Jesus are blessed by God's predetermination. Amen. Hallelujah. His predetermined counsel. <laughs> Hallelujah. My brother. When you speak about predetermined or predestination, yes. that is the blueprint. Yes. Jesus is the blueprint yes. of God's plan. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Amen. That's another great way to say it. He's the blue plan. Uh, if we go to, to Isaiah, read in there, he's the cornerstone. He's the chief cornerstone. Uh, hallelujah. Everything lines up with him. And uh, that's what happens with a cornerstone. It lines up. Uh, your life, our life, has to line up with him. Amen. Anything that doesn't line up with him is rejected. Huh? <laughs> Hallelujah. He said that in the scripture. Uh, he's, the, he's the stone that the builders rejected. Uh, they rejected Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. But as many as received him, uh, to them gave he what? Power to be what? Become the sons of God. To be transformed. Amen. Uh, to become the sons of God. He's the blueprint. Amen. Everything flows in him, through him, and by him. Yeah. Amen. So if I want, if I want that to happen, uh, if I want the blessings to happen, I have to line up with him. Yeah. Amen. Uh, am I right? Yeah. Uh, and I have to do what he says do because he's Lord. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, what what gets us, what stops us, is pride. Amen? Uh, Burger King. Uh, uh, when I drive up there uh, to Burger King now, they play their little speaker music thing now. It says, welcome to Burger King. We're in something like you rule. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Uh, in other words, you can have it your way. Uh, you, but over here, you can't have it your way. Uh, and I shouldn't want it my way. Uh, because, uh, see now, who up to the Holy Ghost? Because the more I know about him, the more I want to be like him uh, and not like myself. Uh, in other words, the more I know about him, the more I see how far off I am uh, and how much I need him uh, to be like him. Amen? Uh, because my heart is deceitful uh, and is desperately wicked. Amen? My heart will deceive me. Yeah. Make me think I'm all right when I'm all wrong. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. My heart, my mind will justify me. Yeah. 
yeah. uh, in all of my actions, no matter what, wow. huh? okay. I'll find a way to clear myself. Amen? Uh, then I want others to clear me. Uh, I mean, if you don't clear me, you wrong. Pride. Wow. Uh, what got the enemy was pride. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. My word. Thank you, Jesus. My God. That's what God. Uh, we need God's help. Mm. All right. So, um, uh, there's one other point I wanted to make. Is that there's going to come a day of Christ. And there's going to come a day of the Lord. Amen. We're all living for the day of Christ. Because that's when the rapture is going to take place. Uh, that's when we'll, we'll go to heaven. Uh, that's when all the other uh, prophecies concerning him will take place. He'll, he'll establish his kingdom and his throne here upon this earth. Amen. Uh, and we'll dwell in eternity with Christ. Amen. The, the day we want to avoid is the day of the Lord. Amen. That, now, when that day happens, nothing but wrath. Uh, nothing but uh, the judgment of God being poured out on those who have not submitted. Those who not have humbled themselves. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Jesus taught this hard. And uh, he taught it, he taught it like this. He said there was a marriage, uh, and all were bidden to the marriage. Uh, and then uh, uh, those who were uh, the marriage was arranged for, they they rejected. Uh, they didn't want to come. So uh, they gave excuses. Amen. Then he said, go out to the highways and to the byways uh, and, and bid them to come. Uh, and then he said also, he had said also, there were wedding garments prepared. Uh, and, and some had on the wedding garment. Uh, but some did not have on the wedding garment. They didn't want to respect the rules of the house. Uh, Huh? And they were rejected. Huh? Those that were ready, what? Went in. And the door was shut. Boom. Huh? Hallelujah. And, and those that wanted to come in, they were not allowed. Huh? Too late. Why? Because they did not prepare themselves. Amen. So what is he saying? We must prepare ourselves. Uh, we must get ourselves ready. Uh, and then we have to conform to the rules of the bride of the groom. Yeah. Amen. Put on the wedding garment. Uh, put on righteousness. Yeah. Put on holiness. Amen. Follow the rules of the house. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brother, we're in the dressing room now. We're in the dressing room now. Hallelujah. We got to put off and put on. Wow. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Some of you, I know, some of you probably would have a fit if you had a white dress and you had a big old spot on it. Uh, and I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, you come to me, I say, oh, don't worry about it. It'll be all right. Just go ahead and wear it. I said, y'all some say, uh-uh, I ain't wearing that. People going to talk about me. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no way. Uh, so, so if you feel that way, what about God? Uh, 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 when, we, when we have ugliness on us, <laughs> uh, when, we're, when we're not walking in righteousness, uh, when we're grieving the Holy Ghost, how does that make God feel? Uh, when he's given you all things uh, that pertains unto life and godliness. Uh, hallelujah. This is good Bible stuff. Hallelujah. My brother. Yeah, when you were talking about that spot on the dress, it came to me and it said, 
you know, Jesus said he's looking for a church. Yeah. Without spot. Without spot. Or blemish. Yeah. Or any such. Yes. Amen. We're getting ready now. When are you getting ready? Yeah. Now. Now you're sitting at the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. Now this word is discerning the thoughts and intents of your heart. Amen. And if this word find you out, what should you do? Repent. Receive it. Huh? Repent. Huh? And turn. Huh? And God will receive you. Amen. Uh, when, when, you, when you really study the Old Testament, amen, and, and all the trouble in hell uh, that, that, that Israel put God through, uh, all he wanted them to do was turn and repent uh, and walk in, in the way of God. That's all he wanted. Uh, but when they did turn and repent, uh, they, they always went back. Uh, uh, they always went back. Uh, they always went back. They never fully let the world go. They wanted to be like everybody else. That message she preached Sunday, uh, that was dynamic in all of its ways. Uh, uh, because that's how Israel lived. Uh, my sister. Yep. He was always faithful. Faithful. Merciful. Merciful. So he would always send them a, a, a deliverer. Yep. That's why they kept doing it. They knew that God was faithful. Mm. And God would always send someone to get them out of trouble. Get them out of trouble. The long suffering of God is salvation. God wants to help us. Amen. But we have to want to be helped. Uh, and we have to submit to God. Amen? And to his way. Yeah. Amen. Now, hallelujah. I, I think I'm done with the introduction. <laughs> uh, uh, Philippians then, Jesus being the greatest example. Philippians chapter number two. Amen? Verse number one. Read what it says. If there be any, therefore, any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, Three. fulfill me my joy. Mm -hmm. Let ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Now, um, um, Philippians 2 <laughs> is, is one of the greatest chapters in the Bible because it gives us a clear a clear understanding about the motivation of Christ, his humility, amen, and how important it is for you and I to have it, amen. So he says, uh, if there be what? If there be any consolation, therefore any consolation in Christ. Now, he's not saying if there be any as, as, as a thought of there isn't. He's saying it from a standpoint of there is and you should desire it. Amen? Hallelujah. You should desire this. And he's given us seven points on what we should desire uh, 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 being in Christ. Huh? Now, uh, if I'm in Christ, I should have these seven points Operating in me and through me. Huh? Huh? Y'all with me? It should be operating in me and through me. Now, what do you mean, Brother Pastor? That, that I should uh, possess these things in me to keep me humble, right? And I should uh, allow these things to work through me. Uh, that that all you should see through me, working through me, are these seven traits. Uh, these seven traits. This is how you know I am in Christ and Christ is in me. Amen. 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 Through me. Through me. Somebody say through me. Through me. 
Amen. Amen. Meaning, this is what I give out. When you deal with me, this is what flows through me. Huh? Hallelujah. You feel me? When I deal with you, this is what flows through you to me. You follow me? You get what you give. <laughs> huh? This is flowing through me. Amen? Why? Because I'm, I'm lined up with Christ. Follow me? Notice what he says. If there be any consolation in Christ. That word consolation, uh, it equates to encouragement. Amen? Strength. Huh? So when you come to me, wait, let me back up. I should be full of encouragement. I should be full of strength. Amen? And when you come to me, I give you encouragement. I give you strength. You follow me? That's what I give. Now, you, you may come to me weak, huh? rebellious. Huh? You may come to me huh? uh, 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 full, of, full of anger, pride. Huh? That doesn't, that doesn't to stop me from giving you strength. Huh? That doesn't dictate to me how you come to me doesn't dictate how I treat you. That's right. Huh? Because I, 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 I'm operating in encouragement. Yeah. Yeah. I operate through encouragement. When you come to me, you should expect encouragement. You just should expect strength. Uh, yeah. No matter how yeah. naughty you are, no matter how ungodly you are, yeah. huh, that's what I give to you. Amen. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Isn't that like Christ? Yeah. Yeah. We sinners. We naughty. Huh? We, we rebellious. Huh? But when we come to Christ, what do we get? Strength. Encouragement. Salvation. Deliverance. Yeah. That's why we come to him. Yeah. Come on here, somebody. Yeah. Huh? That's why we come. Huh? Broken. They broken. I encourage them. Huh? We broken. Well, we come broken to Christ. He encourages us. He helps us. And that's what we expect. I don't expect Christ to step on my head huh? and my neck and kill me. Huh? Uh, turn his back on me, not talk to me because I said something out the way. Huh? I expect him to hear me, huh? to help me. Huh? He expects the same from us when we deal with one another. Huh? Come on, brother. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Huh? Come on. Huh? Uh, if I'm lying, I'm flying. <laughs> uh, he expects that. Yes, he does. Amen. And that's what should be operating through us. Yes. Encouragement. Yes. Amen. What else he say? That's a trait. If it in comfort of the spirit. Now, now I should be comforting people. Huh? Uh, no matter that I, I should be comforted in Christ. Amen. And I should be comforting others. Yes. Huh? So I can keep the unity. Amen. Uh, it's all about the unity. Uh, uh, that's why he gives us the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the comforter. It's the paraclete uh, to walk alongside to aid, help, and support. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. We should be aiding people. We should be supporting people. Uh, uh, we should be helping others. Hallelujah. To, not, not to help them to do what they want to do, but we should be helping them to be like Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen? Amen? To be like Jesus. Hallelujah. This Bible class ain't for the faint in heart. <laughs> huh? Hallelujah. Amen? Amen? Notice, then that's another trait. Comfort, and in comfort of what? Of love. Now, notice, notice, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. God loves us because we were unlovable. Mm. <laughs> mm. Huh? Mm. We should 
even of others, even though they're unlovable. Mm. You deal with folk that's unlovable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's the fact of the matter. Yeah. That's the fact of the matter. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. Huh? They don't deserve it. Huh? They don't deserve it. Huh? Huh? But, but, but like we didn't deserve it. Uh, I didn't deserve I deserve to be killed. Yeah, I huh? Huh? But he still loved me. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Still called me by my name. I was unlovable. Wow. Huh? There's people that are going to come into your life that may already be in your life are unlovable. Huh? This love here means that, that I got a love that you love them in spite of. Uh, that's what flows through you. Amen. There was a time I often, I often I repent every time I think of it, and I repent even today. Uh, when I was uh, uh, so-called dating my wife, she don't like to call it that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And 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 uh, she said she was going to go to church. I wanted to go to a party. And I said, well, you got to choose me or God. Oh, my God. As soon as those words came out of my mouth, I was a straight-up sinner. I was repentant. Uh, and I thank God that he didn't strike me down dead right there. Wow. Uh, and then I thank him because he didn't reject me. Yes. Uh, because I made that statement. Yes. Even though I made that statement, he looked beyond all my fault. Yes. And he saw my need. And he forgave me. Yes. Amen. Come on, yes. Hallelujah. I was unlovable. <laughs> wow. And he forgave me. Yes. Amen. There's people that are going to come across your life or probably in your life that are unlovable. God sends them to you so that you can love them. So that you can help them. Amen. Hallelujah. So that you can sacrifice. Sacrifice for them. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Didn't he sacrifice for us? Yes. He gave it all for us. Yes. Yeah. Amen? Huh? Hallelujah. By God in heaven. Y'all getting something tonight? Amen. Uh, are y'all willing to sacrifice for others? Amen. Give it all for them. You know, you got to be intentional in your mind to do that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that ain't something you just wake up and do. Uh, you gotta, you gotta say, Lord, I'm gonna humble myself. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna set my affection on that individual, and I'm gonna help them. Yeah. Huh? Be unlovable. Wow. Why? Because I'm gonna keep the unity. Mm. I'm gonna keep the love. Uh, I'm gonna be like Christ. Amen. Amen. Another trait. Huh? Comfort of love. Read. If any fellowship. Uh, any fellowship of the spirit, meaning that that by any means I've got to keep the flow of the spirit of God flowing in the church, flowing in the body. Yes. I can't be the stumbling block. Mm. I can't be the weakling. Yes, sir. I can't be the rebellious one that stops the flow of God's spirit in the church. Huh? Huh? The anointing going on. I ain't moving. Huh? You follow me? Uh, uh, the anointing going on, trying to break through. I'm backbiting. I'm talking about somebody. Uh, I'm not paying attention. Uh, I'm not in. I'm not on one accord. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Lord. The 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 the, the, the flow. The flow of, of God wants to be elevated. Huh? So 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 I'm trying to exalt myself. Uh, and not exalt Christ. Ooh. You follow me? Mm. Uh, Y'all with me? Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. I'm not. I'm not allowing the the, the 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 fellowship of the Spirit to flow through me. Amen. Amen. It's like it's like an individual. You see them coming. You know they got an argument. You know they got contention. Mm. They disturb the vibe. Huh? They come in the room, the vibe is disturbed. Yes. Huh? Because yes. they loaded. Wow. Huh? Huh? They loaded. They loaded. Huh? Thank you, Lord. They know they, they come in and disrupt everything. Wow. Huh? Disruptors. Yes. Huh? 
You follow me? Wow. Not wanting to submit. Pastor, I want everybody to sit on this side. They get up, go on that side. That's right. Intentional. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Intentional. Now, now you're causing friction now. Yeah. Uh, now you're going to cause an argument. Yeah. Wow. Huh? You follow me? Uh, now, now, anybody that knows God, can I teach up in here? Yes. Anybody that knows God, he wants to show love. Yeah. He wants to show mercy. Yeah. Huh? Am, I, am I right? Yeah. Why? Because God is love. Yeah. Huh? And he wants to show that. He, he would rather bless you than hurt you. Yeah. Huh? Huh? But now, if you mess with him, he will hurt you. Yeah. Huh? But that's not his desire. Yeah. That's not his will. Ooh. Huh? You follow? Mm. Flow of the Spirit. Unity. Keeping love. Amen? My right, brother? People that live in that world are being unlovable. Yes. They come in Yes. They don't really understand the severity of what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And what it's using them mm. to do that. Yes. You know, everything is operating off of the spirit. Everything. And, and that's a rebellious spirit. Yes. And, and some people, it's hard for them to. Overcoming that spirit. Yes. Because it's so invaded in it. Mm. You know, and, and, and a lot of times it starts from generational uh, things mm -hmm. that their grandparents might have been like that. Yes. You know, and it catches up to them. Yes. You know, God said, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to four generations mm -hmm. and, and, and deal with you. Mm -hmm. you know? So the people that does that, they don't understand the gravity of what they're doing. Right. That's true. So true. And I also want to say this. Uh, that people will have strongholds. Amen. They will have strongholds, issues. Amen. I want to say this, and I want to say this with all acceptation. No matter how strong that stronghold is, it can be broken yes, in sir. Christ. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. No matter how deep that issue runs, yes. uh, the love of God runs deeper yes. to heal, to deliver, and to set free. Yes. Uh, it all begins with repentance. Huh? Acknowledgement. Lord, I got this issue. Huh? And I need your help. Huh? Huh? I repent. Huh? And when an individual does that, huh? God will reach and help that individual and give them breakthrough. Huh? But it has to start with them. Turning their heart to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Huh? Y'all with me? Hallelujah. Now, 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 because the reason why I'm saying it like that is, is because I don't want to give any room, I don't want to give any space to the enemy. Because some people have a stronghold in their mind and say, well, uh, my mama was like that, my grandmama was like that, uh, I've always been like this. Uh, so there's no help for me. Lose him. Uh, uh, lose him. Uh, uh, that's not true. Uh, there is help. There is deliverance. Uh, there is breakthrough. Uh, hallelujah. And it's in Christ Jesus. It begins with repentance. Amen. Everything that, that, that you receive from God begins with repentance. Come on. Hear me here. Everything that you receive from God starts out with repentance. Turning your heart to God uh, for help. Amen. 
Deacon Fields? You know, I heard someone say, how would you know he's a healer unless you be sick? Yeah. They say, how will you know if you're sold out if you don't get tested? Yes. So the test got to come. It's got to come. And, and, and the person who brings these tests is to help you. Yes. It's to help you too. Because Absolutely. You'll know if you sold out. Absolutely. <laughs> and vice versa. And vice versa. They help to identify what's in you, and you use what's in you to help them. Huh? It's not about me. It's not about you. It's about him. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you. This is a new way of thinking. All right. Uh, who else? I think you had your hand up. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. As people uh, ask me to pray for them, and I normally say, well, what you want me to pray for? And they tell me, hey, I'm struggling with this or I'm struggling with that. So I asked them, well, did you pray and ask God to take that away from you? Uh -huh. And they just stand there like, no answer. Right. Let's give them the word right, of knowledge. Right. You know, no, I didn't. Yep. So you gotta. If you say you you tired of it. You know you have to pray and ask God to take it away. From Word of knowledge. Word of knowledge. Ask Him for help. Jesus said, "Come unto me, uh, all ye that labor and are heavy laden." Uh, he wants you that those that are laboring with sin and heavy laden with sin. Yeah. He said, "Come unto me. Take my yoke, yeah. Amen. Upon you." Learn of me. me. Uh, learn about me. My yoke is easy. and my burden is light. Amen. The great exchange. Amen. My brother? It's also important to know that when you ask, he does it in his own time, not in yours. Right. That's true. That's true. Why is that true? He's the one in charge. <laughs> I don't, you, Lord. I, I, don't think, I don't think he want, want us to look at him as a genie. Like whenever we ask for something, we we can get it immediately. Like it, it comes that easy. Because God, he, he delivers you and makes you in the furnace. Huh? When you when you when you're really dealing with something mm. and it's and it's really eating at you and you want it to go away. Uh, it, it, it lends itself to an opportunity that God uses to make you better. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Uh, he purifies you. Yeah. He cleanses you. Amen. And as you go through that process, uh, you'll come out better. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you. Over time. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Is that what he meant when he said, um, bring me gold refined by fire? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. Cleansing, purging. Amen. That's what God is about. Cleansing, purging, getting you better. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So, 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 how can I say this? Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. I shouldn't ignore a prideful attitude. I shouldn't ignore jealousy. If I get a feeling of jealousy, I get a feeling of pride, I shouldn't ignore that. Huh? I shouldn't just let that go. Oh, that's, just, that's what he's talking about. That's just me. That's just me. You know, I deserve that. They, they, they should have acknowledged me. Huh? They should have they called me. Huh? They should have treated me better. Wow. Huh? Whenever, whenever those kind of thoughts come to your mind, you 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 got a problem. Yes. Huh? You got a problem. I want y'all to hear me. You got a problem. Yes. Huh? Yeah. And and maybe they should have called you. Maybe they should have treated you better. You follow me? But but when you get an attitude with it. Huh? Wow. When you start to act funny, different, 
Yes. That's the problem. Yes. He didn't found you. The devil is saying, got him. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. That's what the devil say. Got him. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, and then Diablo, he'll get in there and he'll exploit that. Magnify. Huh? Wow. Wow. My brother. Jesus. Lord help say that if we don't catch that feeling yep. of pride, yep. of anger, or whatever that feeling might be, yep. if we let it go, it's going to develop it's gonna grow. into a stronghold. Yep. That's where a stronghold comes from yep. because it has to be planted. Yep. You got to get a root somewhere. Yep. And if you don't catch it, it's going to grow. A little leaven. Right. Leaven it the whole lot. Wow. Huh? If I, don't, if I don't catch it quick, mm -hmm. uh, if I don't get it at its infancy stage, yeah. it's going to maturate. It's going to yes, grow. Sir. To where in, it's going to be a part of my personality. Yes, Ooh. That's dangerous. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and the enemy, I want to get back to the Bible study, and the enemy, he uses that. You know why he uses that? Because he plants that seed. He plants seeds as well. Huh? Doesn't he speak a word? And the word is a seed. He plants that. Huh? He waters it. Huh? Mm -hmm. So it can grow. Amen? Before you know it, you in a click. <laughs> wow. uh, before you know it, you exalted above all others. Wow. Mm. Uh, before you know it, nobody can talk to you. My mom. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Come on! So, 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 so I have to recognize these things, huh? And and say and say, Lord, you saw how I felt about that situation, and that hurt me. Lord, help me. Help my mind. Remove that seed. Yes. Take that from me. Yes. Huh? Yes. I have to go to him. Come boldly to the throne of grace. Don't overlook it. Don't say, ah, that was just so and so. Don't overlook it. Don't turn your back on it. Huh? You have to ask yourself, did God tell you to do something? Did he tell you to go over there and apologize to that person? Did he tell you to like say, do good to them that hate you? Did you follow the word? And sometimes the things happen to you because you didn't do what the Bible tells you to do. If I if I ignore a leak, it's gonna get worse. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If I ignore a knock in my car, it's going to get worse. Amen? If I ignore the feelings and emotions in my body, it's going to get worse. Amen? Like you said earlier, Bishop, people find ways to justify their wrong. Right, absolutely. They find ways to justify that I'm right. Right. They're wrong. Right. That's delusion too. <laughs> 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 All right. Now let's look now. Let's look back now at the traits that are in us and that should flow through us. Amen. One trait is consolation, encouragement. Comfort of love, loving the unlovable. <laughs> I like that. I like saying that. Loving the unlovable. Yes. Amen. Any fellowship of the spirit, that's another trait. I got to keep, uh, uh, it's in me to keep fellowship. 
of the spirit. No matter how people act up, I'm not going to allow that to stop or, or, or hinder the flow of the spirit of God. Amen? Hallelujah. Every time the spirit moves in the church, I get up. I get up here and say, Hold it, everybody, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> sit down. Mm. You're all ungodly. Sit down. Wow. That ain't good. Huh? That ain't good. I act up. I get this. I, I get this. I get unseen. Now, y'all know this as well. Uh, sometimes, spirit is moving. Some folk get up, just start walking. Walk out. Babies start crying. What? You know, <laughs> just start crying. Huh? I'm trying to distract, take away from. Them. Amen? Every time the spirit gets to moving, I got to go to the bathroom. Huh? You follow me? You gotta guard that. Watch that. Amen. Any if there are any vows of what? Vows and mercies. That's another trait. These are traits of those that are in Christ. You have vows of mercy. He gives us vows of mercies, and vows of mercies flow through you. Deep mercies. When you say bowels, think of your inward parts. Deep. They used to think that in your bowels originated all of this. That's why uh, they, when they wrote this, uh, they, they said bowels was in you. Amen? Your inner parts. Your deep most parts. Amen? So, so in you should flow mercy. Amen? What is mercy? What is mercy? I like that. I like that. What else? To me, mercy, it, it, it's, it's a sense of grace um, when people do you wrong. You, you're not, you're not um, bringing forth judgment upon them. Thank you. You're forgiving them, yeah. not bringing forth judgment upon them. That's mercy. Even when you have the goods. You got the video. Huh? Instead of pressing and putting it on Facebook, you take it, you, you, you don't do that. Huh? You can also equate compassion with mercy. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. What is compassion? The feeling of wanting to help. Yes. A deep longing to help because you see the individual in need. Mercy. Let that flow through you. Amen. This, we all do this to keep unity. Because there are wicked people in the church. Yes. Huh? Uh, I ain't talking about the body of Christ. I'm talking about the physical church. Amen. Now, people need mercy in order to be saved. Come on here, somebody. I'm teaching. Huh? So if you're going to be a, save, a saving agent, you have to show mercy. If you're going to help other people to get saved, you have to show mercy. Didn't he show us mercy? We shot off a of grace and mercy. Huh? So then we have to allow that to flow through us. Now notice, I want y'all to hear me here. Hear me here. If you're not uh, allowing these traits to flow through you, who can be saved? You're working against Christ. He tried to get them saved. When he get them on the bus, you kick them out. Huh? Come on! That's why he told Paul. Paul, he thought that the body of Christ was uh, preaching Jesus was wrong. Jesus, a 
appeared to him and said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It's hard for thee to kick against the prince. But I'm not showing mercy, compassion, huh? love. I'm kicking against the prince. I'm persecuting Jesus. Yeah. Woo! Amen. Woo! Wow. Don't persecute him. That's what doing. <laughs> That's what Jesus my said. God, what my you God. Do the least of my children. My God. You do want to me. Somebody must be praying up in here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. Let me kick off my list. <laughs> All right. Dig it, feel you had your hand up. Yeah, I was thinking Paul had some compulsion disorder because he put everything that he had into whatever he focused on and stuff like that. And um, when he got into the church, uh, that's why a lot of his writings and stuff is so deep <laughs> because he, 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 he was compulsive. He, he was just consumed with Christ. He, that's all he had on his mind, 24-7. Very much so. Mm. Very much so. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Read, what's it say? Fulfill ye my joy. Now notice, if you do these things, you'll complete the joy of Christ. Amen? If you allow these traits to flow through you, Amen? You'll complete the joy of Christ. Christ will have joy in you and through you. Amen? So these are the things, the traits that we need to be praying for to keep unity in the church. Amen? Amen. Uh, I need to be seeking after these things and allow these things to flow through me. Because these are the things that he used to save me. Uh, and as an agent of Christ, I have to use these things to help others get saved. Amen. Amen? To keep the unity of the, the, the church. Amen? I want to say this. I want to say this. That the devil gets so much joy when we are against one another. When we arguing with one another. When we fighting with one another. Yes. Amen. And God is not the author of confusion. My Lord. Amen. My Lord. We should hate the devil so much and not give him that room or that space. Amen. Huh? Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Read. Fulfill ye my joy. That ye be like-minded. Notice. That ye be what? Like-minded. Like-minded. What does that mean? The same mind. The same mindset. These traits which we just read, you, they, and, and, and Paul is going to say it in a way where it's a command. Let this mind be in you. Uh, which is also where? In Christ Jesus. Amen. All right, read. What's that? Let you be like-minded, having uh -huh. the same love. Now notice what he said. The same love. Amen? The same love that Christ has, you have to have that same love. He loved the unlovable. He forgave the unforgivable. Huh? He, 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 he told you. That I, I didn't call the, 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 well, I'm just putting my own word, the healthy, but I called the sick. I came to get the lame. Huh? Those that got problems, those that got issues. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The backbiters, backsliders. Amen. The thieves and the robbers. Huh? Thank you, Lord. We got to have that same love. He's the measuring stick. Yes. Amen. And I got to allow that love, here's the kicker, to flow through me. Yeah. Yeah. Not just have it, but I got to let it flow. 
I got to demonstrate it. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? See, the Holy Ghost just hit me. I should look for opportunities to demonstrate that love. So that the joy of the Lord can be made manifest in my life. Yeah. Yes. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. The brother, he mentioned the apostle Paul. Huh? And, and, and all the other apostles. They were so in love with Jesus. When they got beat, they rejoiced. Uh, they said, man, I'm so happy I was able to suffer uh, for the name of Jesus. Wow. Uh, Soda. Uh, Soda. They got thrown in jail uh, uh, for, for, for preaching Christ uh, uh, in the hole. Not just jail, but in the hole. Uh, uh, and R.H.U., for those who know what R.H.U., the restricted housing. Uh, all of you. And, and, you know, and, and, and back then, uh, they, them guards wasn't caring about you eating uh, and drinking. If your family members didn't bring you no food, you didn't get nothing to eat. Uh, talk about medical care. What is that? Uh, you in here for, for your own fault. Huh? But instead of cursing God, one prayed. And the other sang song. Uh, uh, until there was an earthquake. Huh? And they got loosed. Huh? And now, listen, they could have ran. Wow. High hell tailed out of there. Huh? But they stayed. Huh? They stayed. Huh? And preached Christ. Huh? And souls got saved. You talk about a commitment. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. If they would have let me out, I would have said, bye, see you. I'm gone. Huh? But they stayed. Yes, they did. Wow. Huh? We all here. Don't kill yourself. Do yourself no harm. Huh? Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. That's commitment. That's love. Huh? That's, that, they were exuding the strength that was in them through Christ Jesus. They didn't do that on their own life. Wow. Huh? Huh? Come on here. Even Stephen. Huh? He was preaching Christ. They got him and stoned him. Huh? Thank you, Lord. He didn't curse them. He looked up. Huh? And the heaven saw heaven depart. And Jesus standing at the right hand. He could have said, Lord, save me. Don't let me die. Uh, he didn't say that. Huh? He said, Lord, like Jesus, forgive them. Lay not this sin to their child. He didn't say kill them. He didn't say wipe them out. Compassion. He wouldn't like Samson. Samson got his eyes poked out. Huh? He told the young boy, take me over to the poles because I'm about to kill more now. <laughs> Come on! He had a different attitude. He prayed, Lord, give me strength to kill him. Wow. Huh? Wow. Uh, what would you do? Huh? Would you want Lord to kill him? Or would you want the Lord to save him? They put me in jail and beat me. They talked about me. Jonah. Ah! Lord kill him. Like Jonah, right? Huh? Now, now, is that showing compassion? Is that showing Christ? Yeah, Jonah, he repented. He wanted, he wanted God to wipe out the Ninevites. <laughs> wipe them out. Refuse to go preach. Amen. Were well, you going to be like Jonah? <laughs> Go and hide? Man, Jonah, he's a worse example in this sense. He didn't do the will of God and put other people's lives in danger. Yes. Wow. Wow. Right. 
That should tell us something. Wow. If you don't do God's will, you put other people's lives in danger. Yes. My goodness. You know, I was thinking he was crucified for us. us. And some of us came and take somebody rolling their eyes at you. you right. Know. That's the problem. <laughs> now, isn't that a problem? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Can I say something? Yes. Yes. I was praying. I was praying. I was praying, God, God help me. Right? And I was sitting there, I was sitting there over some baby stuff, uh, praying and repenting, saying, Lord, help me. Uh, and the Spirit of the Lord came. He says, now, leave, leave, leave the principles yes, of the doctrine. Sir. Uh, uh, laying the foundation again from dead works. Uh, then he said, go on to perfection. Now that thing hit me like a ton of bricks. Uh, stop being a baby. Yes. Uh, stop, 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 stop being a baby. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and go up. That's what the Holy Ghost was telling me. Go up, Frank. Uh, go to perfection. Now, that's encouraging. Why? Because he was straightening me out. And he was telling me, I can get the victory. <laughs> yes. Come along. Y'all should have rejoiced. Yeah, pastor will get the victory over there. <laughs> huh? Victory. But the test isn't going anywhere until you get the victory. That's it. It's going to stay right there. That's it. It's going to get harder and harder and harder. Yeah. I thank you. I said, thank you, Jesus. I didn't get upset. I said, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all see how I'm standing? This, this, this is my standing victory. This is my victory standing. <laughs> victory. victory in Jesus. Yeah. Huh? Hallelujah. And Bishop, that, that, that comforted you because you knew God was gonna was was with you while with you were him. dealing with and he was gonna help you right get through that. Right. Right. And I ain't talking about I'll pass the queen in sin. I ain't talking about that. I wouldn't commit no sin. Huh? But I was in my baby feelings. Huh? Y'all been there? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? In your baby self. Yeah. yeah. Very good to you. That don't serve me. Sister Hal, Mother, Mother David, that don't, that don't serve me. Baby self. Pity in myself. Woe is me. Uh, that don't help. The enemy get on that boat and he start driving. If you can drive a boat, you start sailing. Huh? Y'all with me tonight? Lord was literally telling me, grow up! Put your big boy pants on. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So you would like to let the line laying up under the juniper tree. <laughs> <laughs> we all get there sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Huh? That's true. Why me, Lord? Mm. Why me? You know when I was when I first started pastoring, uh I forget what year that was. I used to go, uh, uh, I don't know, Pastor Stewart, or, I know what I'm talking about, but I used to go, get up in the morning, go to church, uh, and say, Lord, why, why you call me? Why me? Why I got to do this? Why I have this assignment? Why me? Huh? Why me? Huh? One such thing, too, is apathy. Yeah. Why me? Then, then, then when I go, something come over me. <laughs> a joy like no other. And I forget about all that other negative stuff. That was the end of me. End of me. Planting that seed in my mind. Wow. Wow. Only plant one. Yes, yep, be a plant one. 
You gotta shake it off. Yeah. Shake it off. Shake it into the fire. Like when that serpent bit Paul, he shook it into the fire. Shake it off. Yeah. Huh? Shake it off. Shake it off. Yeah. Huh? Y'all with me tonight? Thank you. Who gonna grow up tonight? <laughs> You gotta have one mind. You gotta be of one accord. Amen? Of one mind. Right? And what is that mind? The mind of Christ. The mind of Christ. Amen? Read. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Now, anything that you do, this is why I said uh, you gotta allow these seven traits to flow through you and, and nothing should flow through you through strife. What is strife? What is strife? Contention. Contention. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to outdo you. I'm trying to be better than you. Compete. Huh? I'm trying to one-up you. Compete. Yeah, I'm competing against you. Yes, sir. I'm trying to show you I, I, all my good. Huh? You got you got got one on the organ, you got one on the keyboard. They do it. Right. Trying to trying to show who's better. Right. Strike. You got people in the church. I'm an usher. Can't nobody usher like me. Yeah. Huh? Huh? That usher, uh, uh, somebody ain't uh, they coming to help somebody on that side. I leave my post, I go over there. To help them. Say, I'm going to show you how to do it. Wow. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. I get up and preach. I let you make the altar call. You preach a whole new message. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> huh? Yes, sir. Strike. Yes. Huh? Yes, Trying to outdo others in the church. Now, he wouldn't have said it if it wasn't him. Right. Huh? Stay in your lane. Test my stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. <laughs> Good. Uh, now notice. Let nothing be done through strife. Now what's vain glory? Self-glory. <laughs> I like that. But, but, but break it out. Pride. Yeah, it's all pride. Pride. Yeah. Vain glory. Pride. I, 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 I want to get glory from it. Yeah. Huh? Pride. Then you ought to think. You follow me? I can't let that flow through me. That may be in me, but it got, I can't let it come out of me. I got to humble myself. My brother? Bishop, that vain glory is so easy. Yeah. So easy to take hold on you. You don't even see it. Because you think that much about yourself. Right. Me. Me. Myself. Man. And I. And get, get up and walk out of church and go in the bathroom. Look at yourself in the mirror. Because you're so, you so great. Wow. <laughs> it's like. It's like. Somebody said that. I thought about it. You so clean, you so sharp. Uh, you gotta get up. Say, don't look. See you you one good looking dude. Yeah. Wow. And that's what you tell yourself. Wow. You one pretty woman. Woo! <laughs> Fire. Sizzling. Wow. Who says something? Go ahead. Did you ever notice when you try to describe these things to common people out in the world, you get a response usually like well, that's just human nature. Right. That's the way we are. Yep. Right? That's true. Yep. Because it's opposite. It's opposite. Mm. Uh, what's in the world is uh, the, these traits we're we naming are not are elevated in the world, except mm. yeah. but in the body of Christ, they're rejected. Mm. Amen. 
bangle, puffed up, proud. No, I'm on. My, my stuff don't stink. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Let nothing, now notice what he says. Let nothing be done through these things. Huh? So, so whatever you're doing, do it with humility. Yes, sir. Do it with loneliness of mind, esteeming others better than yourself. Right. Amen. Amen. Do it, do it, do it, because Christ did it. Mm. I didn't know. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when I was studying this, the best way to do things is, is you want Christ to be glorified mm -hmm. in everything you do. Yeah. Huh? In all things, give thanks, because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. And you want him to be glorified. Amen? Amen. You hide behind the cross. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is good stuff. Yes. All right. Why, why are you doing all this? To keep the unity. Huh? To keep the flow of the Spirit. Yes. So that others can be saved. Christ didn't come to save himself. He came to save others. Yeah. Amen? He adds to the church daily. Notice, such as should be saved. saved. My brother? Yeah, Bishop, like you said, to keep the, you know, the, the fellowship of the spirit, the, the unity. Because when people come from the world and they come into church, their discernment is just as strong as ours, but it's just opposite. It's, you know, distorted. But they can see, they can see contention among saints. <coughs> Absolutely. They can see that. And yes, that sir. will turn them away. Absolutely. Well, man, what I'm coming here for? They fighting against each other in the church. Uh -huh. You know, that, that'll turn the chair all the time in the world. All right, read. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Now notice, this is what should flow through you. What verse is? Jesus, that's all far we get? All right. In lowliness of mind, oh, three. Let each esteem other better than themselves. Okay, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Here we go. But of lowliness of mind. What word is that? Humility. Humility. Loneliness of mind is a hard thing. Do what? But in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Now let each esteem others better than themselves. Meaning that I put you first. Doesn't mean that you don't take care of yourself. It means that 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 all that I do. I want you to be benefited. Amen? I ain't getting no amen. 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 I want you to be saved. Huh? I want to keep the unity of Christ. All right, read. Look not every man on his own face. See, now, now he's hammering it home. Don't, don't focus on you and your will and your desires. Don't do it. Huh? Look not every man on his own things. But every man also on the things of others. Now, now, do you come to church or do you pray thinking about other people? What 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 does what does my brother Glenn need? Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. You know the Lord helped me. He helped me. He helped me. This is how he helped me. Uh, you know, coming up I ain't have much. Uh, still ain't got much. 
<laughs> but every time there was something given out free, I used to be in the front of the line. Huh? Huh? Used to, used to uh, Thanksgiving time, go to the Salvation Army, get turkey, go to uh, City Mission, get a turkey, huh? And go to a neighborhood church and get a turkey. Huh? And then, and then look and say, what a blessing. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. And then the Lord helped me. <laughs> he said, are you thinking about others? You've already been blessed. <laughs> I've already given you a turkey. And now, because you took two turkeys, three turkeys, there's two people that don't have one. Wow. That need one. Yes, man. Wow. That helped me. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, God, forgive me. Forgive me. Yeah. Huh? That's not the way of Christ. Wow. Huh? Get you one turkey. Wow. Huh? Enjoy that turkey. Yeah, I'll make sure you fall off the road. Oh, man. <laughs> But that's what we do. That's in us. God had to break that. Huh? Had to break that mentality. My sister? Uh, you know, we always focus on money when we say it's more blessing to give than to give. Yes. We don't realize there's so many multiple ways of giving. Yes. Yes. You know, put on us first. Yes. Consider other people. When you give, you're giving more, more than just money. People, money ain't everything. Nope. You know, you give you. You give your true self to people. Ah, That's yeah. more than money. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. you have a chance to get a turkey, but you see somebody seems to be in a, a worse shape than you. You say, oh, no, you go ahead of me. Yeah. You know, that's more than money. More that than person money. might need it much more than you do. Yeah. So it's more than when we say it's more of a blessing to give than to receive. Yes. God is talking about other things more than money. Yes. 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 And we yes. focus right on the finance finances. Mm. But uh, you know, there's so many so things many. to give. So many. And we don't realize that because we got our mind focused on one one side. Yes. We what, always what, Peter uh, says it's gold and silver. Yep. I, I have not, but what I have, I give to you. Yeah. We focus on what we're going to get out. Yes. And that's the condition of the world. That's how the world thinks. Yeah. We're conditioned to think like that. Mm -hmm. sure. huh? We're conditioned to hoard. Yes. Huh? We're conditioned to be like that. But Christ doesn't want us to be like that. Really? When, when that man, when that man, uh, had his barns filled. Wow. Huh? Yes. And he blessed the Lord and said, Lord, what should I do? He's going to build a bigger barn. He's going to own 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 a bigger barn. But he could have gave it to the poor. Wow. He could have helped somebody. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Takers. takers. You know, uh, let me turn this off here before I say what I'm going to say. 